Well, I have a comic in front of me, and it looks like it needs a little love. Um, so, uh, in particular, could probably use a cleaning. Uh, and looks like it's had some minor repairs and fixes over the years. So uh, we'll take a look at that and see what it needs. But um, since it's here, I guess it must be Thursday, and that means it must be cleaning with chaos. So we'll get started on this right after. Let's take a look, because it looks like this has had some interesting repairs. There's a staple up here. It looks like a staple in here. It's got its original staples that are... Yeah, maybe not original staples. I don't know if I have any replacement staples for this or not. Open it to the center. There's a staple. There's a staple. These have to come out, because those do not belong there. It's got some tape on it. So I'm going to remove these staples if I can. Yeah, this is a newer staple. That's not that new, that much newer. This the repair is probably 15 or 20 years old. Like I said, or maybe older, but it's not one that I did because I haven't had that comic this long. So let's see what I can do about this one. Where are my tools? Good question. I'll just use Old Faithful here. Old Faithful is what I call my dad's pocket knife. He carried it for at least 30 years. When I got it, it was so dull it wouldn't cut anything. I sharpened it up, got it to where it'll cut now. So Now this is not the center page, which annoys me. This is the center page right here. It appears to be hold on with some tape. So we're going to have to remove that tape too. It's older tape, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Oh boy. People, if you don't know what you're doing, just leave the comic as it is. This is a staple. Here are two staples. Interesting. If you do not know what you're doing, don't try to fix a comic. You'll do more harm than good to it. Yeah, I don't even know where that staple goes. Okay, it's got the original staples still. That's a good thing. How am I going to get this off without destroying it? Ah, I see the problem. Here's the tape right here. We're going to just... See if we can't cut that tape without hurting the comic a little bit. Because trying to peel or take the tape off of two pieces of paper that are joined together with the tape is nearly impossible. It'll do more damage to it than anything else. It's better just to go ahead and cut the tape off. Cut the tape where it's where it's holding the two items together, and then you can try to remove the tape individually. I probably will not be doing the repairs to this comic today. I'll probably just, you know, the tape removal. I'll probably do that off camera. 
what I really want to get it into is some intricacies. Some of the parts of cleaning a, a Silver Age comic that people don't think about. How's that? Is that? I need a sharp knife. This is not cutting it. Where are my exactos? That's what I need. All my tools seem to have gone missing. They're probably in the other room. Sometimes I clean comics in the other room. Yeah, I don't have an exacto knife here. Weird. Let's see if this will work. This is the This is a needle. There. Yes, that worked. Okay, we're going to leave this pretty much as it is for the moment. Uh, but like I said, I want to go over some things that people don't think about when they're cleaning a Silver Age comic. We're not going to get into the repairs today. And I might do them off camera. I don't know. Uh, things like this. That's pretty important, actually. Uh, but... First thing we're going to do is we're going to do a dry cleaning, literally a dry cleaning. Uh, take some of these cotton rounds and I'm just going to go over the cover like this. A little bit of dirt, not too bad. And then I'm going to go on the inside and do the same thing. See this is an older comic and it definitely yeah, I can almost guarantee there's dirt on both the inside and the outside of the comic. It's not showing up too much right now. But on these Especially comics from the 60s when they've started to yellow like that. Look at that. <laughs> Told you there'd be dirt on here. That's not ink. That is dirt. Oh, A.K.A. filth. A.K.A. nasty looking stuff. Go to a, a fresh one, nice and clean, right? <sighs> Not so nice and clean. Now, how did I know it needed to be cleaned? Well, number one, it's a Silver Age comic. Number two, if you touch the pages, it feels like it almost feels sandy. The paper is not smooth the way it should be. Now, newsprint generally has, it does have a texture, and that's what this, this paper is. It's rag paper, newsprint paper. But still, it should have, you know, if this feels a whole lot better than this does on this side. So I'm going to have to go through every single page. And wipe it down and get that dirt off of there. And this is part of cleaning a comic that most people don't think about. Even those that are considered professional cleaners. I've never heard them talk about 
wiping down or cleaning the inside of the comic. It's always about the cover. Make the cover look pretty. Let's get that cover looking good. What about the inside pages? Don't we need to make those look good too? Don't we make need to clean those? Well, I mean, if they don't care, they're going to send it off and get it graded. So what do they care if it's clean or not? Now I'm going to try a little experiment here. I'm going to take my, my brush. We're just going to try to brush it off and see if, what that does. And now I'll take the cotton round. Yeah, focus isn't that great, is it? Yeah, take the cotton round now and do the same thing that I did before. I mean, I brushed it off so there shouldn't be any dirt on there, right? <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> yeah, definitely need to do something with this. I guess you could use a microfiber cloth to do this, but yeah, cotton rounds aren't that expensive. I bought this is 80 of them. I think I paid a buck for it. So yeah, my camera stopped again. I went. I finished cleaning that other page. Gone to this side, and I was wondering about this because it it shows little indentation here and I saw that on the other page it turns out there's a staple here and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and remove that real quickly I've already taken the uh, from the back so that's three staples in there that shouldn't have been there uh, I do occasionally ask get asked what I would charge to clean a comic book and my answer is pretty much all the same I don't. I don't clean comic books for other people. I don't press comics for other people. And the reason for that is there's a liability issue there that people don't think about when they're wanting you to do work to their book, you know. If they, somebody sends me a $100 book and I make a mistake on it, well, I just bought a $100 comic. Instead of making some money off of it, I've lost money on it. And... Uh, People say, well, no, I wouldn't hold you responsible, and that's a crap. I'll, I'll try to remember to remove that, and probably won't remember. People uh, say one thing and then do another. They, they say, uh, oh, yeah, I won't hold you responsible if, if you make a mistake or you do a little thing, as long as you fix it. And then they'll get their comic back, and here's what I would expect. They'd get their comic back and go, Well, you ruined my comic, and I'm not going to pay, and I want my money back, you know? And that's, yeah, I don't want to get into that whole thing. I would prefer just not cleaning other people's comics. And the reason I say cleaning, you know, pressing for me is a part of cleaning is just like, I'm cleaning this comic. I'm not, I wasn't originally planning on doing any repairs to it. Obviously, I'm going to have to. Um, 
but I have been removing staples that shouldn't have been there in the first place and to me that's all part of the cleaning process and uh, once you know in order to reattach the centerfold I'm going to have to take the comic apart and when I do that I'm going to have to press it flat I don't have to but it's easier to work on them if they're pressed flat and there's some some damage to the inside pages that I'm going to try to fix and I'm not going to use tape to do it it's, it's an experiment that I'm not going to show you until after I um, try it and see how it turns out if it turns out good then I'll show you how to do it you know I'll do it on a camera I'm not going to show you how but I'll, I'll do it on camera and if it doesn't turn out well, well you'll never know because you won't see it and you won't be tempted to do that same thing yourself and have disastrous results that's uh, I worry about sometimes showing people different things that I do to repair a comic uh, because it's easy to make a mistake and if you do make a mistake you could ruin your comic and then feel resentment against me when uh, you know it's all a learning process every time I clean a comic every time I I touch a comic with the intent of doing any type of repair or restoration or whatever I happen to be doing to it I take a chance of making the comic worse of destroying it or ruining a comic and I understand that and I'm prepared to take that risk uh, if you haven't if you've cleaned comics and you haven't destroyed a comic or you haven't made it worse you're either number one really really lucky number two have not cleaned or or done anything to very many comics or there's the third possibility that you're just lying and that in fact you have ruined comics you just don't won't, won't admit it uh, for me it's all part of the same learning process I try not to make the same mistake twice I sometimes do anyway uh, one of the biggest mistakes I'm guilty of is not doing a pre-cleaning which is what I'm doing right now uh, I just dive right in with the immaculate clean and, and start cleaning and, and that's not a good thing to do that's not the way to do it I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble this comic before I start using the immaculate clean on the cover because uh, it's just yeah I need to do some serious work to this comic I need to remove all of this tape now it did remove a little bit of tape on this side and I only to discover why it had tape on it in the first place you see the comic was torn here that's something I'm gonna try to fix I'm gonna try to do a, a, a repair on that to fill that hole I took a very small amount of ink off when I was doing it but you know it's not enough to really be a problem so that's all stuff you see and how it's split I want to try to fix that without putting tape on it if I can should be an interesting experiment I will show you the comic when it's done if it succeeds if it does not succeed I probably won't show it to you this is an original staple here yay yay for original staples we like original staples now I knew when I bought this comic I bought it in a batch there was just like 20 or 30 comics and they were all trashed uh, they were complete so you know but as far as condition wise no <laughs> they were in pretty bad shape and I knew that going into it so I wasn't too concerned with it 
I didn't know they had repairs that needed to be unrepaired before I could continue with the uh, continue working on them. I need to get down to that staple, but I don't want to damage the pages that aren't attached. That's four pages that have not been attached by the upper staple. There we go. Wow, this staple is in really bad shape. Ah. Uh -huh. There's another staple, another add-in staple. So we have the original staple, which is the one I'm trying to get to now. It's going to make it really difficult. I need to remove this add-in before I can remove the original. That's four staples coming out of this comic that shouldn't have been there. And I don't know if it was a child or some well-meaning adult that said, Well, look here. I got your comic. It's all, all good now. Oh, five staples that I took out of the comic that didn't belong in it. <coughs> yeah, it just pulled it right out. It's just... Yeah, you can see where this had tape on it before and the tape was removed and and kudos for them for removing the old tape I appreciate that that's that's great I'm gonna have to I might have to soak this cover for a little bit I don't think I'm gonna get any of that brown out but uh, yeah yeah I think this cover is gonna be get a bath yeah. Uh, I don't know if I want to do any more to this uh, on camera because it's just it's going to be very delicate very intricate I have tape to remove and minor repairs to make and I want to try to fill some of these holes with some paper pulp uh, yeah, so I need to flatten this out real good and then uh, I'm going to make some real fine paper pulp and just kind of fill in the edges a little bit. I don't want to do a lot to it. I'm not going to do a full blown uh, cover restoration. I'm not going to worry about filling in this edge here. I just want to fill in the holes and not on this not just on the cover but on all of the pages that need it. You know I'm going to leave the the insect chew where it is. Uh, that's either a mouse or, or some type of insect that was doing that. I'm not going to leave that. I'm not going to try to fix that. I just want to fix this part here. So I'm going to have to flatten it. Uh, I can't do that right now. I already have a comic in my press uh, that I'm taking the spine roll out of. So, yeah. That's... And it's going to be in there for another four or five hours. So what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and remove all of the tape. 
and uh, see what I can do about cleaning this up and making it a little bit better and filling these holes where they have gaps in the comic and uh, once I'm done with that I'll be back for the reassembly uh, hopefully we can get this done this week if not Whenever it's done, I'll show it to you. If it comes out. If it doesn't come out right, you're never going to see it. It'll just sit in my collection. Uh, I think I have one more uh, silver gold mylar I can put this in. And then I'm totally out. With the exception of the real big ones that I use for magazines. Uh, and those are oversized for magazines. So, yeah. Alright, that's going to be it for this video. Um... But yeah, I don't clean comics for other people. It would cost me more than I think it's worth. Uh, it's not that I would... Yeah, I wouldn't even know be... where to begin to charge. Uh, like on something like this. You know, by the time I'm done, I might have 100 hours into this. Uh, at, you know, $25 an hour, that's $2,500. For a comic that might be worth 30 bucks yeah no it's not worth it not worth it for my time it's not worth it for the risk it just to me it's not worth it so we'll see you uh tonight on my channel uh i'll be doing a uh, my my normal my normal Thursday night show will preview a few things that I might be selling on Friday night and uh, well, well, we'll go from there. In the meantime, make sure before you handle your comics, make sure you wash your hands. It's good for your comics, most of all. It's good for your health and we'll see you next video. Bye.